Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to install Windows 11 or Windows 10 on a Raspberry Pi 4. You can also do this on Raspberry Pi 3 as well, but we're going to be using the Raspberry Pi 4 here today. So this is called WOR Flasher, and what this is going to allow us to do is to download it and then basically clone it onto a micro SD card, and then we can swap out the SD cards for the one that we're using, because we're going to be doing all of this on the actual Raspberry Pi itself. So it's pretty straightforward, but it does take a very long time and you have to be very patient. So here we are on the Raspberry Pi. We're going to open up a terminal and all we need to do is put in two commands. So the first command is this one you're going to see on the screen. And this will be on the website, which I will leave linked in the video description. So you can just copy it and paste it into uh, your terminal. So no typing needed, but it's very simple and easy to do. So you can just copy and paste this into the terminal and then push enter and it will then go and download the actual parts that we need to continue with this uh, task. So what I'm going to do is type this out and push enter here and there you go. So you will need an internet connection here and uh, I would advise you to get a fast uh, micro SD card just to make it a lot easier for you to make the old process a lot more quicker. You can do this to an SSD if you wish on one of those little attachments. It's entirely up to you how you go about putting your Windows 11 onto it so you can boot to it. So you can see here, we need to type out this command here. I will leave these in the video description. It might be a bit difficult to see here, but once you've typed these out, uh, you can push enter and this will go ahead and get the GUI so we can use the GUI interface for this. Now this part of the process is pretty quick, but the rest of the process takes quite a long time. So it's asking us to put in here a wifi yes to agree to their terms and conditions here. So I'm going to go ahead and do wifi yes here again, and we'll let this come down. And there you go. It's all starting to happen. So this is what will come down. And then when this is finished, you will see a GUI interface looking like this. So you can see here, install Windows 11. You can use the drop down to do install Windows 10 or Windows 11, or you can use custom and on Raspberry Pi 4 or Pi 400. And you've also got Pi 3 there also if you want to use that one. So push next and it will go ahead and find the best Windows 11 image. Check your language here. So I'm just going to put it into English United Kingdom. Push next and it will ask you where you want to flash it to. So I've got a micro SD card into one of those little USB 3.0 card reader holders. So I'm just going to use this. So we're going to basically flash it to that and it will give you the installation overview. You can read through this part here. It's just going to warn you that everything is going to be erased. And basically we're going to need to click on flash here to continue. So let me go ahead and click on flash and this will start the process off. Now you can see on the prompt screen here, it's basically going ahead and doing what it needs to do. Now this does seem like it's going very fast, but I've speeded this process up very, very quickly so you can get a general idea of how long this takes. So if you're looking for something to do for the next 10 minutes, it's not going to be 10 minutes. It's going to take a good hour to get this all completed. So you can see here, we're at this step now where we can uh, close off this window and basically shut down the Raspberry Pi and remove the operating system that's in there at the moment on the other micro SD card and use our new Windows 11 micro SD card into that device. So I'm going to shut you all down and basically uh, swap these over. So let me go up to the uh, Raspberry Pi icon here, go log out and shut down the Pi and shut down. There we go. Now, once you get to this screen for the first time, this stays on this screen for a very long time. So be patient. This can be on this screen for a good 10 minutes. And then you might see uh, this screen here with the little windows a circle going around here, which is pretty common to Windows. And you just have to wait. And uh, this does all take a bit of time. And then you should get to this next stage here where you will see this loading up here. Now, again, once we get to this area as well, this does take a fair bit of time to load in. And this can take anything from, you know, 20 minutes or so. Because you're running on a Raspberry Pi, everything is going to take a lot longer and also we're installing Windows 11 onto a micro SD card. So depending on the speed of your micro SD card will determine how quick it goes. 
Now, once we get to this next stage, it will be setting up the account time for your Windows 11 install. So you'll get to this next stage here where you can set up your own account. Now, of course, with this, you will need an internet connection. You can bypass the Windows um, login so you can use a local account. Uh, but that's all you got to do is go through the same old procedure as you would do if you was installing Windows 11 on any other device or virtual machine. You would still have to go through this process. Now, what seemed to take an absolute age, you'll finally get to the desktop of Windows 11 on your Raspberry Pi. And what is the experience like? How does it perform? Well, it's pretty slow, as you'd expect. And that is because it is a Raspberry Pi after all, and it is Windows 11, which is quite a heavy resource hungry uh, operating system. So why would people want to do this? I really don't know. Um, I would much more prefer to use a much more faster operating system, like some sort of Android or um, Linux based uh, operating systems, which would work perfectly fine and really fast on a Raspberry Pi. Now, it is pretty zippy for what it is. I mean, it does open and shut things, but when you start opening up uh, applications and things like that, there's still a lot of bloatware installed on here, and maybe you can debloat it a little bit to make it run a little bit better. Um, but as you can see here, um, a lot of the privacy settings on, on here are still enabled, so you would have to go through and turn a lot of this stuff off, which might give you a bit more resources back once you do turn these off. Now, I guess the reason why you'd want to install Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi is just to say that you've done it and that you can actually do it. And I think that is probably the only reason why I'd want to install Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi, uh, because I wouldn't want to use this as my daily operating system on this uh, Raspberry Pi, because I just don't think it's fast enough for my needs. When you can install, uh, say, Android or something like that on here, which would make it much more faster than, uh, say, for instance, Windows 11. And I think Windows 10 doesn't fare much better on the Raspberry Pi uh, compared to, say, Linux or Android. Now, you can stream on YouTube as well. If you wish to stream, you can stream content on YouTube. And uh, it's not the fastest experience, but it does work. And you can skip along, and it does seem to catch up and lay to stream at 1080p. This is streaming at 1080p, it's not full screen. As you can see here, it does work. What else can you do on it? Well, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be limited with the resources that's gonna be given to you by, for instance, the Raspberry Pi itself. So for anyone who was wondering whether you can install Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi, it is possible. And this method is super easy to do. It's just unfortunate it takes an absolute age to install it. And again, we are running off a micro SD card slot, which is obviously going to make it a little bit more slower. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about Windows 11 on the Raspberry Pi or even Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi and whether you're actually using it as a daily operating system uh, on your Raspberry Pi. I'll be interested to read your comments down below. I'll just quickly show you the system specs here so you can see it is a Raspberry Pi and we've got the Raspberry Pi 4 there. Now I'll quickly show you the task manager so you can see the resources that it's using, just idle at the desktop and you'll be able to see how it affairs. So let's have a look. Now there could be some updates running in the background, I didn't check, uh, but you can see there's the system resources there on the screen. Uh, you can see the memory is being taxed quite a bit and we only have four gigabytes of um, memory on this a Raspberry Pi uh, 4, so there's only four gigabytes there. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Uh, so if you are interested in installing Windows 11 or Windows 10 on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, then that's basically how you can do it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. Also, the link in the video description is for our Discord server. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.